Hey guys, it's RJ the Fed. Uh, we got three subscriber, uh, sorry, three samples from a subscriber. Let's let's English now. Um, these are all ASW. They're fiddlers, Georgia Hartwood, and the Amberana. So this is the Chin Music one. Sorry. So we're gonna go low to high for proof. We got 100 proof, 117 proof, and 118.4 proof. Uh, these were all sent to us by Bourbon Riders. You also put in this bandana in there too. Uh, I was going to wear it, but when you fold it in half to where the text is, if I wear it, the text was going to be upside down or like facing towards me. So I wasn't sure exactly how to wear this uh, and be able to show it off. You know, we we're going to go shirtless and just wear a bandana, man. It was going to be fun, but that's okay. Maybe next time. So I've never seen all of the fillers, I don't think. These are interesting caps. They have like this little plastic insert on them. That's kind of cool. Um, the Georgia Hartwood one, someone was asking about literally the other day. So I think it's hilarious that this uh, these showed up today and got me thinking about that. I was like, man, someone said they wanted one. But I saw the Georgia Hartwood one and it was, it's this one right here, by the way. The bottle was like $96, I think which seemed kind of high, but I mean, we're about to find out if this is one of our favorite. Maybe that'll be one we go for the chin. I don't think we've seen. And then the Amberon, I know for a fact we have not seen, I think there's two, maybe three different ones that are on the shelf. Uh, but the one I can remember for sure is the Georgia Hartwood. Cause I remember someone saying something about it. So I was looking, if you know who you are, if you're looking for it, that price is kind of up there. Um, I think you can get them for cheaper like around $70 for the Georgia Hartwood. But. So, all right. Well, we've got three Glen Cairns. We've got three samples. we got Chin on the right, the Georgia Hartwood in the middle, and the Amberana on the left. Or my left, your right. Start out with the lower proof one, this 100 proofer. So this one, once again, is the ASW Filler Chin Music 100 proof. It does have like a oakiness to it for sure for the smell. A little corn, a little vanilla. It it's, has like a sweet scent to it, but it also has like this oakiness to it. So Almost like a little earthiness and nuttiness. I haven't drank in a couple days, so it's kind of hard putting some of these notes to, to words. It's pretty pleasant. It does have a little bit of a bite, but overall, like it's probably like really mellow out of most of the whiskeys I've tried around the 100 proof point. It's definitely very like corn forward. It has the oakiness. It has some sweet notes to it. It really coats the glass. Like I wish I could get the camera to pick that up better, but it just sticks to the glass. And that's quite pleasant. I will keep an eye out for the bottle because I'm not sure what those cost, but that one's not bad. This one's the main show. This is the one that, like I said, one of the other subscribers, he was asking about getting a bottle. Maybe I could pick it up for him. Uh, this is the Georgia Hartwood. Thank you, by the way, Bourbon Riders, for these. We'll definitely be returning the favor. I know we are going to give you forbidden, but I don't think you ever picked from my list. Hmm. It smells interesting. It smells darker for sure. But it's it's like very muted, very mellow on the nose. Like there's definitely like the the whiskey, the oak note. It smells a little spicy too.
really trying to pull it out, man, it's just hard to, to pinpoint what I'm smelling. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. See, maybe we can get it off taste. Very buttery and smooth. Definitely there's a bite there, but it's hidden underneath like this very sweet tone. It kind of reminds me of like butterscotch and caramel. I don't know if it's butterscotch or caramel, but like the, the mouthfeel, the consistency, the, the viscosity, the, the viscous, the that kind of coating of the mouth, it's very full. It's very sweet, but it's also like spiced, not, not spicy, like peppery. You can definitely feel a lot more of that, that earthiness, the charred oak from the barrel come through on that one. It sits around for like a while though. It has like a, a long, long finish. So, I mean, I just try to clean my mouth with water and I still can feel remnants of it. Let me go back one more time for this one. I don't know exactly what taste that is. But it sits right there on the tongue and it's like very very muted on the on the harshness and very like forward on like the sweetness but it's like a dark sweetness it's a uh, almost like brown sugar that's actually quite good 117 proof you can tell there's proof there for sure but it doesn't drink like that the longer I let it sit too as it's diluting with saliva and water, it almost tastes huh. I don't know how to put it in words. It, it's a long sweet finish but it has like this bitterness to it as well but it, it's very very just sweet. Now this one's 118.4 proof. This is the Amberana. Uh, if I remember right, Amberana is like, uh, like cinnamon spice. Um, so I'm not sure if there's an Amberana out there that I like, but, uh, this might be it. Uh, yeah, I get like a, almost an immediate cinnamon scent to it. Kind of peppery, not, not like uh, peppercorn. It has like another note too. I don't think it's leather. It could be. So so first it was like cinnamon, but now it's like there's something else going on there and I'm not sure what it is. And so there's some leather note for sure. There's like the oakiness to it. It has a slight bit of cinnamon, but it's not necessarily a spice. I don't know if I like that. It does taste like a lot of leather though. And I don't like leather as a note, but this isn't like, this is an old brown boot leather. This is like brand new fresh cut leather that I turned into a wallet or a belt and then sniffed and then decided I want to put that into liquid form. It's not hot though. Like it's not 118.4 as far as how it feels. It sits at the roof of the mouth though. And it's like this weird leather flavor. 
with this real like earthy gritty texture hmm I think I like all three of these actually now now that we're gonna sit here and talk about them for flavors this is probably the lighter whiskey I'm assuming this is the lower age stated one as well it being a hundred proof if not I just cut it down with enough water to dilute it it's smooth, but it's also got like a little bit of complexity and spice going on. This Georgia Hartwood one, I I can't put all the flavors to to words, but it's like an explosion of flavor. And then this this Amberana, I mean, I haven't had very many Amberanas in the first place, but like this is definitely one of those. That like if I had to go through my entire list and talk about like which ones, uh, the whiskeys and bourbons that I own that have the most unique flavors... Uh, this one is definitely super unique, and it's it's in a good way. I just I don't like leather notes, but this this has got something going on that I like. I don't know exactly what it is. It, it does have this sweet flavor to it, with a little bit of the bitters. Um, the, the bitterness though comes I think from the spice of like the cinnamon texture, but it's not like a red hot cinnamon. It's like a, a lighter cinnamon with the leather. So this is actually pretty pleasant. So. Whew, I will probably not be looking at the prices and putting bottles on screen for this particular video. Typically, I like to put those on screen so you guys can see what the bottles look like. But these uh, ASW Fiddlers, like being able to try three different ones from their lineup, it is pretty impressive that all three have a very distinct and unique flavor between the three. Like I think in a blind after tasting these, I can absolutely pick them out 100% of the time and be like, this is Chin. This is the Georgia Hartwood, and this is the Amarana because the flavors are so drastically different and unique to it, but it's cool that they all come out of the same distillery. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'll have to do a little bit of research on my own. I just – I got these today. I didn't really do a whole lot of research. I popped the plastic before we started the video so I didn't have to struggle on camera for you guys, which we did actually struggle on two of them. Um, these – I would like to say I would recommend to buy these if you're looking for something very unique and different, uh, but it's also very com complex and flavorful. Uh, but I'm afraid that if I recommend these, I'm pretty sure the Georgia Hartwood was like, maybe it was a store pick, but I want to say it was like 90 something dollars. Maybe the standard one's closer to 70. So uh, if it's closer to 70 for like the normal one, I'd probably go with that over the store pick. But the Amberana, if I could find that one as a store pick, it's already such a unique flavor. I can only imagine, like, who would be going out to, to nose and taste these barrels to pick their store pick of the Amberana and be like, this is the one, because this is already a very unique flavor, and it's not even a store pick. Once again, this is a thank you to, to Bourbon Riders. We really appreciate these samples. Um, I, I don't think I would have bought these on my own. Uh, but after trying them, I am definitely behind the idea of picking up at least one fiddler. It doesn't necessarily have to be all three or store pick of any of them. But if I had to only pick one off this table, if I had to buy only one, I'd probably go with the Samburana. Now, the subscriber, one of the other guys, he wanted the Georgia Hartwood. I don't know if you wanted the regular one or the store pick. They'll have to reach back out to me so I can make sure if I do pick one up, I get the right one. But the chin, I think, would probably be the cheapest just because it's 100 proof. It could be wrong. It might be even harder to find in my area. Um, but I don't know if I would pick it up just because it's like it's unique in its own way, at least compared to these. But these are more complex and a lot more flavorful. And I think you would have to have someone with a very specific palate that liked them to go out and buy them and try them. That being said, though, after trying the Amberana, this would be my pick as my number one. Uh, I think I would do number two as the Heartwood and number three as the Chin. So your guys is right, my left, one, two, three. I think that's how I'd rank them. I'll, I'll revisit them, but um, they're solid. They're, they're definitely solid. I, I'm going to actually finish, I think, all three of these blends. This one will be the least favorite that I'm going to finish off first just to revisit it. Yeah, so after trying the Amberon, I'm coming back into this one. This one's light. It, it tastes like it's been aged long enough, at least for the oakiness to come through. But 
it's kind of got a burn, not a, not a harsh burn, but it's not it's not as smooth as I thought it was when I first tried it. Now we got the uh, Georgia Heartwood, so we're jumping back up in proof. Yeah, it's pleasant on the smell. It's like vanilla and butterscotch, caramel. It's like an explosion. Much lighter on the palate than the chin. That's good, guys. That one's good. So whoever decided that they might want that Georgia Heartwood, they said they were going to reach out to me about it. Uh, message me again, man, because I am forgetful and I talk to a lot of people. But wow, that that's a solid pick, and I am pretty sure we have store picks of those that sit on the shelf. But I want to say it's around ninety something dollars, maybe ninety six for that store pick. Have to double check on the total wine app. Yeah, man, the smell on this is just so like different, like. It, it smells very leathery. And the wood comes through too. It almost It's almost an unpleasant smell, but it, it, that's just because like it doesn't smell necessarily like fresh leather. Ah. I wish I could like really, really pinpoint the type of wood and leather that I'm smelling like. And, and it's funny, like I nose this one so hard and this one I also was trying to get like a real good scent on it. I can just put this here and just breathe like normally and then breathe through my nose. And like the smell, the aroma is immediately hitting my nose and it's just so different than these two. Like these two are very muted on my nose. This is very forward. I just don't know how to put it in words. It, it does smell pleasant though. I don't want you guys thinking it smells bad. It's just, it, it's so up there. It's in your face. Yeah, that's just, oh, so good. Wow. Wow. I mean, my phone's over there. I have the computer beside me, but I'm not going to sit here and be Googling in front of you guys. But if I can find this one, I don't know how much it costs. I'm going to have to look it up, see how much it costs. I might have to get a bottle, and I'll have that one sitting on the shelf as another one of my like most unique flavor profile bottles that I have because that, that is good. That is good, guys. Um, this might have gone longer than I anticipated. Um, I know a lot of my videos are very short and to the point, especially when we do reviews, uh, single reviews, double bottle reviews. This is a three-way uh, uh, review, which we have three ASW fiddlers. So trying to line up, I don't know how many they actually have, but Chin, Georgia Hartwood, and Amberana. I, I would recommend it's a buy, uh, as long as the price is right, guys. If I, I wouldn't pay too much for these, but... This Amberano one is, is very unique. I like it. This is good. Georgia Heartwood is, is good. And then the Chin, after trying the other two, I think is just, it's it's solid. It's decent. I wouldn't consider it good or great, but I wouldn't say it's bad either. So, Thanks again, Bourbon Riders. Uh, we're going to find a place. We're probably going to tack this up or we'll put it on one of the shelves, let it sit off the shelf uh, for giving me this opportunity to try these ASW fillers. Um, I was very impressed. Like, comment, subscribe. RJ the Fed signing out. I'll see you guys next time.